Hi there, I'm Patrick, aka Puppet Pat from Breaking and Entering. Today I have with me Cowboy Mouth. If you'd like I'm to introduce John yourself. Thomas Griffith, I play keyboards, guitar, and I sing. I'm Fred LeBlanc, I play drums, and I sing. I'm Brian Bressard, I play the four string, I bring the thunder. <laughs> How's everyone doing today? We're great, man. We're great. That's great. I'm, I'm well, we're great. kind of switching, sharing a little head cold, which kind of sucks, but. That's all right. No, no. Time of the year. <laughs> and now you have it. Now yeah, have great. It. Hey, we're sharing the love here in Milwaukee. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Uh, you guys just released your 10th studio album, Go. Mm -hmm. uh, how's your sound different from uh, your previous ones? Uh, I, think it's, uh, I think it's expanded a lot. Um, one of the luxuries we had with this album is we were able to all get in the room together and play as a, as a unit. <laughs> um, you know, the necessities of you know, finance and stuff like that sometimes <coughs> created a situation with a couple of previous albums where we would just create tracks, like I would send them to John in his studio in California, he'd send them to me and mine in Louisiana, and this t this time we were actually able to create a cohesive album in a room together, and it was nice. Very nice. There's, de there's just a different energy that's a lot more um, palatable and a lot more uh, tangible. So this is the coming together album, if yeah, you will? Yeah. Very cool. Well, uh, 25 years is quite an accomplishment for a band to have under its belt. Mm -hmm. uh, looking back on it all, is there anything else you guys would have done differently? Oh, there's tons of stuff you do differently, but it's not about the last note, it's about the next note. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. Very cool. Um, after being in the music industry for over two decades, what are, uh, what's a piece of advice you could share with other groups? <laughs> I don't know, should you? <laughs> that are starting out. Well, be persistent, I guess. Be persistent. Yeah. Um, yeah. <coughs> follow your dream. Uh, that sounds cliche, but uh, you got to start somewhere. Definitely. So, uh, and, uh, play hard, man, fast and hard. Yeah. Very cool. Have faith in yourself. Yeah. Because everything comes around. If what you're doing doesn't work right now, chances are it'll work in like five years or ten years, and you just burrow your head down, move forward. It's honestly. The music business, just like anything, is all about work. What you put into it is what you get out of it. So. Uh, do you guys have any crazy road stories? Over yes, and we're not years? telling you any of them. Yeah. Yeah. You don't even know where to start, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Brian, <just> rule. Ah. <laughs> on the way the road stays on the road. <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, there was a lot of crazy stuff. I mean, now with. With Cowboy Mouth, it's kind of become an efficient machine. You know, we're all a little bit older. Wiser. So, you know. No. Huh? Wiser. Wiser. <laughs> I don't know about that. I don't know about that. <laughs> I don't know about that. Know about that. Um, you know, it, Brian and I actually were in a band uh, at different times, the same band, but at different times, and they were they were crazy. They yeah. Were, those people were lunatics. Shenanigans. Shenanigans. <laughs> you know, like very much like, and are we dead yet? Yeah. No? Okay, well, let's keep going. Yeah. <laughs> and they're still living the same shit. Yeah, still, yeah, still living the same thing. The British rock style. <laughs> no, no, no. It's a band out of Louisiana called uh, Dash Rip Rock. I played in the, in the mid to late 80s, and Brian played in the mid to late 90s. Let's go smoke some pot. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> that was us. That's <laughs> awesome. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you know, it's honestly, if you, if you can make a living doing something you love, like playing music or something like that, then you've got everybody beat. I always say that whether you're Kiss or whether you're the Holiday Inn band, you know, playing on a Tuesday night Jimmy Buffett covers, there's still a million people that would give their left arm to beat you in that in that situation. Mm -hmm. That's just, you know, so right can, about can that. I tell a story about Russia, about, uh, about the Czech Republic when you busted your hand? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, go ahead, please. We were playing in the Czech Republic, uh, Bratislava, I mean, that festival it was like us. Outdoor? White, us, Snake. White Snake and Peter Gabriel. Right. <laughs> wow, that's a, that's a combination. It was 92 <laughs> and, the wall, and the wall had just come down. Yeah, so. and, uh, it was a big soccer stadium and there's one guy running all around this entire side of the uh, arena with a big old American flag, huge. <coughs> and uh, at the end of the show, Fred hit his uh, uh, Tom and sliced his hand open. It was bleeding everywhere. And we, End of the show, like got off, yeah. <laughs> you were bleeding, and got off the stage. And I guess the promoter, some big burly Russian guy, comes up to Fred and goes, "You finish show, finish like, well, show." And I'm like, man, I'm, I'm bleeding. Like, yeah, yeah, finish show. So, so we had to wrap it up. We had to do one more song or something like that. Yeah, like, the guy put a piece of gauze on it and tied it in a shoestring knot. <laughs> and I'm sitting there going out just. 
play and I'm bleeding. I'm literally bleeding, 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 like profusely, you know, okay. and it's like, it was, it was That's entertaining. I fell off the stage because I was like, because I was just losing so much blood. Oh my <laughs> God. God. So I thought it was so crazy hot. <laughs> <though. laughs> it took me to a hospital. Stitched me up, and they didn't have any anesthetic because <laughs> it, it was like Czech Republic right after the wall had fallen. Nice. And I'm sitting there, like, shot for pain, shot for pain. The doctor's like, No, <laughs> <laughs> they gave me six stitches. That ooh, it's rough and roll. Has it affected, affected your playing or anything? No, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Yeah, I forgot all about that. Yeah, that's reminded me of that. Uh, I hear you guys put on a hell of a live show. No, it's a lot. It's a lot. We're terrible. We're <laughs> from terrible. the YouTube videos I've watched, it's not a lie. No, well, actually, we were good until Brian joined. And then oh. everything was just... <laughs> then it got really good. Yeah. 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 If, if by it's really, really good, you mean show. terrible, terrible Let show. me live in my own little fantasy world, please. <laughs> Thank you. But I got to know, what's up with the, the Red Spoons being thrown on stage? It's just something that the fan Jill. started. Some song, yeah. Yeah. Some song he wrote called Everybody Loves Jill. And it's... A silly song about a friend of ours. Yeah, and it's just like dear friend of ours. Red spoon, red. It was it was really something off the cuff. Well, we did have hurricane party, which people would throw tootsie rolls. <laughs> but uh, since uh, that hurt. Sanchez <coughs> left the band, we don't play it anymore, and yeah. they used to hurt. That freaking hurt. I don't know. Yeah. I got a scar right here from a red spoon. <coughs> yeah. I was well, I'm I'm trying to figure out a way to write a song <laughs> about you know. Um, Chocolate brownies. Pro well. No. <coughs> Property deeds, right? You know, uh, <laughs> property deeds, uh, ten dollar bills, hundred dollar bills. <laughs> Just no golf balls or bowling no balls, balls or uh, uh, weights or anything man. like that. <laughs> That's Shoes. awesome. Um, well, one more question, and the most important. No, 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 no. Lots more questions. Come on, Pat. Well, I'll throw in a few more. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> but the most important, where can uh, the fans go find your music? Uh, you can find it maybe it's on iTunes, you yes. can come to the shows and buy it. Mm -hmm. Calvinmouth.com. Uh, yeah, you guys on Spotify at all? Yeah, I think we're all on all yeah, yeah, I know I saw you on Spotify. iTunes earlier today. Yeah, yeah, we do. You can find us. Our, our, our music's very easy to find. It's very accessible. You can find us on YouTube, you know. People put our tracks oh, on YouTube. I mean, that's and cool. honestly, you know, with a lot of the, like, the the major label stuff, <laughs> we don't get paid for it anyway. <laughs> so, go ahead and steal it. <laughs> right on. Don't uh, steal it. Don't steal it. <laughs> Well, thank you so much for your time. We here at Breaking and Entering love hearing from the musicians. Well, thank uh, you for Is there anything you would like to share with the audience? I love the name of your show. Breaking and Entering? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Come to see us play, man. We, we kick a whole lot sure. of yeah. I'm excited to see your show tonight. I'm so. excited to be our show tonight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right on. Well, I'm up at Pat, and I'm signing off for Breaking and Entering. Thank you. Peace. Rock and roll. The name of the band is...